Wow, this is a good start. I'm just about to start my descent from the rim, and I just spotted one of the most rare and iconic animals here in the Grand Canyon, the California condor. And this is an amazing stroke of good luck, because until recently, a visitor to the Grand Canyon had no chance of seeing a condor in the wild. They're still so rare that each bird is marked with a wing tag to keep track of its location. And even though they're making quite a comeback, that's not always been the case. And to get the full story on condors, we have to go out on a limb. This is Marble Canyon, the start of the Grand Canyon, and ground zero for the first group of condors reintroduced to Arizona from captivity over 10 years ago. But finding one is no guarantee. This is not easy getting around. But the best way to get around is the same way the condors do, and that's by flying. I don't have a nine and a half foot wingspan, so if I fall, I'm gonna die. Now, a short distance from the edge, I'm on the perfect viewing platform. And as I scan the rock below, I search for the slightest movement, a flap of feathers, that signature unfurling of the longest wings in North America. How wild is that? A California condor just below me. There's less than 200 of them left in the wild. So cool. Now what that bird's doing, he's sitting here perched on the cliffs, waiting for thermals. And as the wind picks up, he'll take off and use the wind and the thermals to soar and get up really high up over this canyon. And this is perfect condor habitat. Condors stay perched for an average of 15 hours a day. So you've got to be patient and lucky to see one take to the skies. It's getting ready to take off. It's opening up its wings. There it goes. That is amazing. Wow. Look at the wingspan on that. That is one big, beautiful bird. 